What you doing, Diglett Dreamers? You got Mathers back for more Pokemon Showdown. Playing some more OU this time around. Uh, got it. Got two teams here. Uh, one team has got a, kind of a bulky offense uh, with Sour Ledge, which is kind of the main reason I wanted to try it out. It's also got Scarf Iron Valiant, I think is what the team is really built around. Uh, but it looks kind of fun, kind of uh, offensive-y, kind of, you know, and I haven't tried Sour Ledge out yet in this tier. And then I also brought uh, this Psychic Spam. Uh, I'll link to the forum thread where I got these teams. It was... Uh, the team of the week on the OU forums uh, and these look like to me they look like the most fun team so I'm gonna try them out they're pretty offensive um, let's see so this team my, my first team that oh this is a very stall like team that we we're facing up against uh, so my team is Glamora, Hydreigon, Great Tusk, Sarah Ledge, Golden Go, Iron Valiant and my opponent is bringing, oh lord, uh, Garganacle, Garganical, I should say, Dondozo, Hatterene, Great Tusk, Amoongus, Corviknight. Very, very bulky team. So I think my way of winning this is going to be Hazards. But they do have a Hatterene and a Corviknight, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. Um... Serilage could be good here. Golden Go is probably going to be a good way to take on their Garganical. Mm -hmm. Iron Valiant is also not looking great, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to lead Glamora regardless, though, as they do lead Corviknight. Yeah, I don't hit this. I think I'm just gonna go right into Serilage, if that sounds like a crazy... Okay, they do U-turn, unfortunately. Imagine if I had just stayed in and spiked and I would have gotten up a Toxic Spike too. I guess they have an Among Us. Great Tusk comes out. Yeah, Great Great Tusk is a big threat to this team. Um, I'm just gonna go right into Glamora. And just see if I can get a spike up. They do knock off there. You think they are the slow version? I'm gonna actually, I think I might just Terrastalize Energy Ball. Mm, I don't need to Terrastalize actually. Oh, they're faster, right. <laughs> That's why I thought about Terrastalizing. Uh, well, I can go Valiant here and I think honestly just tricking is gonna be very nice for me because I doubt they stay in. Yeah, in comes the Amoongus to absorb the spikes. Good for them. I get a black sludge, okay. Now I can trick that to somebody else later. So that's cool. I'm just gonna go golden go. I can avoid the spore here, right? And they they won't really switch into this thing that well. A shadow ball is gonna be putting in work. And the only thing that doesn't that does take a shadow ball is guard. Garg. <laughs> uh. So what I could try here is to go Hydreigon and see if I can get Stealth Rock up. But I don't know if that's really worth it because it could just close combat me. Make It Rain has a chance to KO here. They knock off. I take out the Great Tusk, okay. That was pretty costly uh, because I still, I'm definitely worried about this Garg. Um, although I have a Great Tusk, I have a Valiant, so I guess it's not that bad. 
Uh, yeah, getting rid of that, that was their real, their only real big offensive threat. Except maybe Hatterene. Since they're U-turn Corviknight, I would bet they're not some kind of bulk up variant. Uh, yeah, Don Dozo. Hold on, Don Dozo is kind of annoying. I guess I, I should try to trick that thing. In comes Corb. To what? U turn? What is this thing gonna do? I'm just gonna recover. They just brave bird. Okay. I'm gonna recover again. I kinda expect them to U turn here. Yeah. Yep, in comes the Garg. So Salt Cure would do a lot. I get Rain's doing over half though. I think I'm gonna go for it. 55%. Do they Salt Cure the Iron Defense? I think I Nasty Ply here. Get myself back to neutral as they do recover. And now I'm doing a heck of a lot more. Make it rain. They live on 1%. And they do salt cure. I think this is worth it. Just go for a make it rain. In comes Dante. So okay, cool. That's mainly what I wanted was just to get. I actually did some good damage. Oh right, because it ignores my drops too. Um, yeah, I just I wanted to keep that guard from recovering. That was really the only reason I went for that there. Now the Dondozo is strange. I kind of want to just go Hydreigon. They do liquidate. Now, what would be interesting here is if I managed to get this Stealth Rock up. I don't think they would go Hatterene here. <laughs> Maybe they would. Dark Pulse does enough to 2 a KO here. Well, we're at a pretty good chance to 2 a KO. Maybe I should just go for that. They do go Hatterene. Wow, I'm so glad I did not click Stealth Rock. Okay. Uh, okay, now that this is in, I just go Sarah Ledge. They nuzzle. Gross. I can just Bitter Blade, it'll hit the Amoongus. I go, they do go down Dozo, but I kind of, I kind of don't mind this because I really want to just, what is their speed even? 106? Wow. I can get this ton off, huge, very big as they try to rest. Uh, now I go Hydreigon as they liquidate, and now I can Dark Pulse. Amoongus comes out, 27%, not great. Uh, Spore here would be annoying. so. I but I think they would expect me to go Golden Go. So I'm gonna go for a Stealth Rock here. Getting these up would be would mean Garg can't come in. They do go Don Dozo here. And I do get the Stealth Rock up. <laughs> so Draco Meteor here actually does KO, so I'm gonna go for it. I knew. 
Deus. <laughs> oh, I can taunt there. Can't use sleep talk. So I can just dark pulse. In comes Corv. Oh no. Nice, 41%. Uh, so they've shown U-Turn and Brave Bird. That leads me to believe they probably don't have body press. So I think it's kind of worth going for a Dark Pulse here. I could potentially flinch as they roost. Okay. All I need is one flinch. So I think I go for it. I have 18 of these Dark Pulses left and they only have seven roosts. There's another roost. Okay. Oh, I could taunt. What am I doing? I just wanted to flinch. In comes the Tantozo again, as I do taunt. Uh, so yeah, that's another Dark Pulse. They stay in that time. So they're gonna wake up now. They are taunted though, so I just Dark Pulse again. They could have body press as their last move. Which would do a lot. There you go, Corv. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's a roll. It's a roll. But what I do here is just taunt. <laughs> taunt is just breaking this team down as they do try to defog. And now I just Dark Pulse once again. Leaving them at 9%, they decide to U-turn out there. So I think that means rocks are up forever. <laughs> uh, so the interesting thing I could do here is just uh, terastalize. And I think, honestly, I think it's a pretty solid idea and just go for the two dark, the dark pulse to a KO. Oh wait, they're gonna nuzzle me, aren't they? They might not. They might just want to kill me. <laughs> I would understand if they did. I also can flinch here. Oh, they do nuzzle, come on, man. I think Regardless, yeah, I knocked them out with the Dark Pulse there, but I think Corviknight and Garg both go down to rocks, so it's literally just Dozo and Amoongus left. They forfeit. <laughs> that, my friends, is how you deal with stall. That's why Taunt is one of my favorite moves in this game. It's so useful in the right situations. Whew. <laughs> I did not play that great in the beginning of the game versus that great tusk, like just losing my uh, Grimora to it. Uh, let's try this team. This team seems a little more wacky, a little more fun, way more hyper offense. Uh, it's Indeedy, Poltegeist, Cloyster, Armor Rouge, Toad Scroll, Hatterene. So it's pretty crazy. Ooh, my opponent has a bulky team. Not as bulky as the last time. Not as bulky as the last time. Did the music just skip for everybody or is that just me? Hopefully it was just me. Okay, so my opponent has a Greninja, Baxcalibur, Iron Moth, uh, Great Tusk, Corviknight, and Screamtail. So pretty bulky team, but also pretty offensive. Uh, Greninja and Screamtail are pretty fast. Iron Moth, but we got some bulky guys in Corviknight. Screamtail's bulky and fast. Uh, Baxcalibur's pretty bulky, obviously. Great Tusk and Corviknight are pretty bulky. Um, got the Endure Armor Rouge with the Focus Sash, Calm Mind, Weak Armor, Spikes, Toad Scroll. I don't know what their lead would be. 
Would it be Greninja spikes or would it be like Stealth Rock Great Tusk or something? Uh, we got Hatterene with the Eject button, which is pretty fun. And then of course we got Shell Smash Cloister and then Shell Smash number two, Poltergeist. And then uh, Indeedy with the Psychic Terrain, which boosts up Expanding Force and Stored Power and prevents uh, priority for my opponent, which is cool. Uh, I kind of want to just leave Toad Scroll. If I can get a spike up, that'd be nice. Uh, I can always double into Hatterene if need be. Like this could be a Stealth Rocker. Although Grass Nut KOs this, and I should be faster unless there's Scarf. Grass Nut is a very good tech. There's a lot of there's a lot of big bulky Pokemon in this meta game, and the Great Tusk goes down immediately. Iron Moth comes in. I mean, it's faster than me. Overheat <laughs> will KO. Flamethrower has a chance to KO. I have a chance to KO with Earth Power. I mean, I have a chance. I, I, have a, I could KO with Earth Power. I'm Focus Sash. Let's go. Sludge Wave does 51%, and I KO the Iron Moth. Oh my god. Toad School. Demon. Okay, Bax Calibur comes in. Now this I do have trouble with. Earth Power does 32%. They could Ice Shard, I suppose. I kind of want to just go in DD. Almost. And then just try to set up with like Armor Rouge or Cloister or even Poltergeist. But I, I, I thought they might, I have a feeling they might Ice Shard or some crap. I'm also faster, so getting some damage on this would not be a terrible idea. Let's go for it. 34%, they do Icicle Spear. That is good to know, because Icicle Spear is a multi-hit move, which means my uh, Focus Sashes are not going to be helping me out too much. So maybe I should just go Hatterene. I think I just nuzzle here. Yeah, they do switch into Screamtail. Get the nuzzle on that. Very nice. Now I'm just gonna go hard in DD as they Dazzling Gleam for 23%. Let's just encore them. Oh, Corbinite comes in. Should I just go hard arm rouge? Yeah, let's go hard arm rouge. They do U-turn, so that gives me a def uh, speed boost. Uh, so unless there's Scarf, Greninja, they do bring Greninja out immediately. All right, they do resist my attacks as well. I really wish this was a uh, weakness policy, actually. This has drill run on it? <laughs> what? The cloister, I mean. Okay. What are the chances that they are scarf? Let's just hit an armor cannon. 55%, not bad. They just dark pulse. I mean, I just go. We got four more turns of this. Let me just. Yeah, let's just go cloister. And shell smash. I live on my sash, don't flinch. Okay. <laughs> And I think Icicle Spear, yeah, they're a dark type right now. So Icicle Spear is 100% accurate, <laughs> unlike Rock Blast. Uh, so down goes Greninja. Um, 
In comes Corviknight. Ice Cold Spear. A U turn out, interestingly enough. In comes Bax Caliber. I could just go Hatterene. Just to make this not much of a threat. I just nuzzle, because I don't want them like Terra and then Dragon Dance or some crap. They do Icicle Spear. Let's see if they get five hits. They get four and I get my eject button. I kind of didn't want that. Oh no, I forgot about that. Um, huh. Okay, I'm just gonna go Poltegeist and then just immediately double out as the terrain ends into Indeedy. Get it up for another bunch of turns. I lost. Um, maybe Bolty guys could live. Because <laughs> Hatterene doesn't live. Uh, let's Terra and Terra Blast. Let's see if we live. Nope. <laughs> and the weak armor too. No. Why? Why did it have to be loaded dice? High school spear of Excalibur. GG. All right, let's see if I can find another game with uh, that team and maybe no high school spear. Because that is just very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay. No high school spear of Excalibur on this team. Really sorry, this is so laggy. Uh, they've got Meowskarata, Garchomp, Azumarill, Volcarona, Roaring Moon, Iron Treads. Huh. Okay. I'll lead Toad Scroll. They do lead Meow. Now, if this is banded, right? Then it can knock me out, I think. I don't know. I'll just spike. Whoa! <laughs> right, I forgot I'm Focus Sash. Okay. So, there is a spike. Now, I am also faster. No, I am speed tied. The full corona, my bad. Um, so I can just risk the speed tie. I bet they're modest too. Let's just risk the speed tie. All right. They knock me out with a flamethrower. Hmm. I'm going to go in DD. They could probably knock me out with a bug buzz, but they might not have it. So I almost want to go for a psychic. Oh, I really want to go for a dazzling gleam on like the incoming Meowskarada. I'm faster, and they do have bug buzz. <laughs> okay. Uh, is weak armor only physical moves? Is we only activate with physical moves? Yes. Okay. Oh, you know what? 
Let's go Poltergeist. Shell smash up as they flamethrower. Flamethrower only does 40%, 59%. Sorry, I'm left with 41%. Uh, why did I, I can stored power here? Take out the Volcarona. In comes Meow. I am faster. So I can just Terra Blast or a Terra. They're faster. So they are scarfed. Should I just go Armor Rouge and try to win? <laughs> They're scarfed. So what does that mean? Is that what is their speed? 568. I don't know if me at plus two. Wow, yeah, okay. So at plus two, I am not living. So I do have to armor cannon. As a zoom roll comes out. Okay, just expanding force. Take out the Azumarill. In comes Roaring Moon. Because the Protosynthesis, oh god. Uh, I can just go Hatterene. Straight up. Okay, Terra Flying and Dragon Dance. Acrobatics is a chance to KO. Dazzling Gleam doesn't KO at all. Oh, right, because they're a flying type. <laughs> uh, so I nuzzle as they dragon dance again and get them paralyzed. They're still very fast, though. Um, Psyshock does a lot, though. Let's go for it. They get fully paralyzed. Huge. 44% with the Psyshock. Do I see another paralyzation? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. In comes Iron Treads. Wow, Scarf Meowscarada is really gonna do it to me. Although I think Endure Armor Rouge might actually be a good thing to hold on to. I think I just let them KO me here. They knock off. Would have been nicer. Yeah, just dazzling gleam. They rapid spin, okay. This is doing solid chunk <laughs> damage. <laughs> the earthquake uh, get a lot more damage. Uh, yeah. Earthquake, I live again. And they, they should take me out here as they rapid spin. Knock off rapid spin, earthquake. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. Uh, let's see, they go for a knockoff. Okay. I think I take them out. <laughs> yeah. Need four hits. In comes Meowscarada. They flower trick. I am pretty bulky, you know. <laughs> uh, but that means I go Armor Rouge and I click. All mind as Garchomp comes in. Um, I 
and I just expanding force. I'm actually faster in the earthquake. Activating my weak armor. What? Did I, can I win this? Uh, oh, armor cannon take out Meowskarada. If they are <laughs> just the dark type. Okay, let's see. Why can't I click Terra? No, just be just be a pure dark type now. No, pure dark type. Get rid of your grass. Okay. Armor cannon will KO them. I'm faster. I KO them. Obviously, okay. So here's what it is. Meowskrata is faster because it is scarf. But I have endure. So I endure as they try to knock me out, and that gives me enough speed. Where I should outspeed them. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that that's good stuff. And they left immediately. Oh yeah, I think I'll end it there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to send me some teams please do. Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and check out the link in the description for uh, the Digital Dreams Discord if you want to hang out. Uh, send me teams, share replays, get advice, anything like that. Um, come check it out. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, keep dreaming, and goodbye!